Berkeley County Health Department, where you get free rate on test kits. In studio with the Admiral Bill Stubblefield. Billy. Good morning, Rob. Great to be here. Maria Lawrenson, All-Star. Happy to, to be here and not to have stayed up late last night. How about that? That's one way of putting it. Uh, Amendment 1 also seemed to have passed. And I think there's still two counties there are having some trouble in Kanawha County. I was texting with Dee Kersey, the legal counsel to the Secretary of State's office. He was up all night because we didn't just have problems here in Berkeley County. They also had some significant problems in Kanawha County, which I understand involved maybe 30,000 yeah. votes or something. Well, uh, Amendment 1 uh, passed in Berkeley, but it did not pass in Jefferson. Yeah, I think statewide, though, the last it I did, looked. Uh, yeah, about 90, 91%, something like that. Well, yeah. yeah 50, and 51, 51%, 51, sorry. Yeah, yeah but about 97% percent reported. 40.5 to 49.5 or something like that. That's what Rick Manning um, said with 90% of the vote um, counted. But, I, you know, not not verifying looks like that. it's going to pass though yeah john hardy joins us via telephone he won his county commission race yesterday against dirk stansbury john good morning how are you hey good morning rob and thanks for having me on this morning sure it looks like tony petrucci wants to have a conversation with you about voting <laughs> machines well you know i'm going to give tony a pass he didn't have a very good night last night and he's probably very tired so we're just going to give him a pass on that and take the high road he's not the only one who's pretty tired <laughs> this morning you know i think uh most of uh, most of our audience probably stayed up late last night to see what was going on yeah uh john well uh, again uh, we start first and foremost with congratulations you will be the next republican commissioner on the berkeley county commission along with hd uh, boyd who is uncontested so he of course was going to return uh, regardless, but uh, tell me what you think was the key, other than being a Republican in Berkeley County, to winning yesterday. Uh, well, I hopefully just got my message out. I mean, people understand. I mean, I've been in the public eye for some time, and I, I think people understand my work ethic. I mean, I I, I have a very strong work ethic, and I'm very aggressive. And uh, when I kind of set my mind to something, I I really um, you know kind of like a pit bull get a hold of something and don't let it go. I've I've, I've been able to show that as my work in the legislature and other projects that I've been involved in in Berkeley County, and I'm very excited to serve the citizens of Berkeley County. I think there's a lot of challenges uh, that the county is going to face in the next six years, and I'm willing to be, you know, really excited to be a part of the team. Um, you know, it's, uh, being in being in politics and being in the public eye is a team sport, and a lot of people don't realize that. And and, uh, you know, you have to work together, and I'll have to work with the clerk, and I'll have to work with the sheriff, and work with my fellow commissioners and all the other agency heads, and making sure we're putting together the most uh, um, taxpayer-friendly budgets that we can, and, and just uh, trying to meet the challenges that are going to face Berkeley County in the next six years. What is the future of the rain tax in Berkeley County, John? You, you didn't say it specifically in your ad, but you alluded to local fees and such in one of your uh, advertisements. Well, you know, there's there's uh, some work going on behind the scenes with an MS, MS4 permit, and I think the, the original MS4 permit was a little overreaching to where it needed to be. So there's probably going to be some people that are going to come out of that permit. Uh, so I, I think that we're going to be able to restructure that. I, I'm hoping with the, the new money that's going to be coming in from impact fees and we can – maybe work uh, to generate funds that we can kind of make that thing go away or at least downsize it greatly. I, I don't know exactly what, like I said, it's a federal government deal. I mean, it's it's a complete overreach from the federal government and the, and the federal EPA puts those permits out through the state DEP. And when the DEP gives you that permit, there's not a whole lot you can do. I and mean, you can be mad at the county commission, you can be mad at the municipalities, but when those permits are laid on them and they have to come up with that funding structure, it's, it's an unfunded mandate and, and they have to figure out what they're going to do. So hopefully we can work through this new uh, MS4 permit, and we can hopefully try to reduce uh, some of that in Berkeley County. Uh, John, the way you said that implied that it's all uh, driven by the Fed, and the counties had to get in line and salute. But only one or two counties actually got in line and saluted. Uh, so uh, where does fault lie? Because Jefferson well, County has not been part of it. That decision lays way, way before John Hardy was involved in anything in Berkeley County, and I think that was some decisions. I think there was some money dangled. I think there was some carrots dangled in front of some past commissioners, and maybe got in over their head where they, you know, um, taking some money that they that led down to this road. I'm surprised that other counties have not uh, ended up with these MS4 permits. Um, so, you know, Jefferson County probably meets the densities for it, and some other counties probably do too. But, uh, you know, I can't worry about what goes on in other counties. I can only worry about what's going on in Berkeley County. So we'll work very diligently to, on this new MS4 permit to try to uh, figure out how we can lighten that burden on the taxpayers as best we can. 
John, what do you think is the biggest difference then that you'll encounter from being um, a member of the House of Delegates to going to being a county commissioner? You thought about that? What's the yeah. biggest change for you? Uh, I think one of the biggest changes is just being local and being people being be, being able to be more vocal towards what you're doing, seeing people every day. Um, your decisions are, you know, all politics is local. Uh, your decisions are really closer to home. Uh, you're going to see people that you're representing in the grocery store every day and, you know, in, in my everyday business practices in the county. Um, you know, I, I live here and work here. And, um, you know, so I, I'll, I'll have a lot more interaction with my constituents. Uh, sometimes I think being a delegate, especially a delegate from the Eastern Panhandle, you're a little shielded from that. Uh, people's lives are so busy that they don't really have a whole lot of time for state politics, and uh, they get their their, their uh, federal politics, you know, uh, their federal government stuff from the TV. And so I, I think it's just being at events and, and seeing your constituents and um, being able to try to help them work through uh, whatever issues they have, have going on or listening to them. Uh, I tell people all the time, ever since I've been involved in – Politics, I, I can't guarantee I can fix anything for you. I can guarantee that I can be a voice, I can be an advocate, I can get you in front of the people that you need to speak with, um, and we can try to work through the process, but I can't guarantee or promise anything. John, thanks uh, again for calling in, and congratulations to you one more time for winning a seat on the Berkeley County Commission. All right, Rob. Thank you, sir. I appreciate the time. Have a good day. Congratulations, John. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Bye-bye. That's Delegate John.